Hello? Hi, it's John Yes, this is uh, Mr. Ratzlaff. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I've got to... I gotta tell you thank you right off the top, my man. Not just for talking to me, but... One of the happiest days of my life, my dog, Yida, he had jumped off... He One of my dogs knows how to jump off the roof of my house, and the other one does not. And the other one just played just followed the leader, so the first one jumped and did it successfully, then Gita did it, broke his, just broke the his front arm just right in half, and I must say that the, yeah, it was, God, and then, and then basically I'm feeling his pain all through the night, because it happened like, you know, in the evening, and I'm like, well, nothing's open, and so he's just in pain, and he just took it so well, but I kept promising him, as soon as I get in the morning, I'm gonna take you to the vet, I'm gonna take you to the vet, and, um, Probably one of the happiest moments of my life was when he came out with his stupid little, you know, happy face in the cast and just bouncing all around just like nothing ever happened. Like, it's it's all fine now, Papa. So, guys, thank you. Thank you for uh, establishing. I guess you were, you're the owner of those places. Did you establish them or did you buy them or how did that uh, come about? You you bought the Alamos one, then you started the uh, Monte Vista one. Well, the reverse of that, but yeah. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Good deal, man. So, okay, to situate uh, politically, there's uh, three county commissioners, and there's um, the there's the incumbent, um, his name uh, something Hofsker, Hofsker, and then um, yeah, and then there, then you're running against him. So you would be the challenger to the incumbent, and this is with the uh, Republican primary, which is uh, up here June 28th, correct? Good deal. Um, so how has uh, how has your experience been campaigning so far? Well, really, I haven't been doing much. I'm very well known in the community from being a veterinarian. Right. Ah, good deal. That's um, in a way you've probably been campaigning for twenty to thirty years, right? By you, I think you said something by helping with their pets and their livestock, by helping with people's pets and livestock. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. So um, I got like just twelve questions here, so I'm just gonna kind of rattle one off after the other if you're if you're ready. What are your uh, favorite restaurants and uh, favorite dishes and favorite restaurants in Rio Grande County? That's good. You give me a, I'm going to like take notes later on and like eat at each one of these spots. So, <laughs> um, cool. Uh, the, uh, uh, you were opposed to the RWR project. So I th- the idea was that Douglas County was going to pay the San Luis Valley some money to take our water or something. What's, what, what's going on? And, and I, I think it's, um, is it, are they still trying to get a hold of it? Is it still a pressing issue or is it kind of a, So they'll have to find another county before uh, the, they try to take our water again. Is it? Well, just leave us alone. So, yeah, well, that would be good, yeah. What um, do you have any specific plans on combating poverty or creating jobs? Also, if you're creative, you could just come up with your own jobs, too. Um, yeah, well, yes, yeah, certainly. You can, you can start your own. 
I liked your I liked your management style. You said that um, I, I like the culture. You're right. The, you said that your management style. I read that uh, you hire the people. You hire good people and basically just you know um, kind of expect them to do well and just let them go and see see how it works. And you say that that's what been working for you so far. I think people rise to the your expectations, and uh, and frankly, you know, that's kind of treating people like adults, like they're, you know, they're they at least want to be competent. I guess they'll have to show you if they can be. But yeah, God, I, I love that way. I think you'd be a great boss to work for. I feel like I I'm not scared of doing any job. It's just the the micromanaging bosses that it's like God. I'm doing dishes. I I know how to do these dishes. <laughs> What, uh, let's see, let's see here. Do you think it's okay to collect rainwater? To collect rainwater? Yes, sir. Um, you know, I don't know that I've heard both sides of the story there. I would, I would say offhand yes, but, um, I don't know that I've heard both sides of the story, so I'm going to hold off on that. That's all right. Yeah, I'll just give you a little bit. For a long time, Colorado had it. It was illegal, and then they over overturned it, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago. I just... Yeah, yeah, I remember it being illegal, yeah. But I guess it just seems weird if God wants to give me some water and I... Well, I'm just wondering who's going to take... If I tilt my head up and I collect a couple raindrops, is that, uh, am I going to get fined or jailed or people are, are they going to say, Hey, you, you owe me five raindrops. You know, I saw you take, <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, what's, uh, what's your vision, uh, for Rio Grande for the next four years? What would you like to see happen in Rio Grande County? Good deal. Do you have any plans on lowering sales taxes? Uh, no, I don't. The um, uh, unanimous. The uh, uh, do you? There's a, it's a three person board, and I would think that with three people to aim for the principle of unanimous, even if you don't always get to it, I think that would be a good principle to aim for. Do you agree? Disagree? Well, I would, I would hope Yeah, because I feel like sometimes a person might just hold out on something, not because it's not a good idea, but because of like something else that's going on in their life. Yeah, so if you talked it out, like you said. Yeah, you'd hope you'd discuss it and, and, and be able to bring your point of view strong, you know, well enough to, to convince people or be open-minded enough that if somebody uh, brought a good argument, you might be convinced. <sighs> that sounds... Amazing. Um, cool, cool. Uh, are you planning, if you lose, are you going to come to Conejos County and be our commissioner? Because I, I think I'd like you down here. No, just... <laughs> so I was just playing. But, uh, um... Yeah, I got to the. I was in Costilla first, and then I come to Conejo. So I was a, a rib man, but now I'm a rabbit man, right? Isn't that the Spanish? <laughs> All right. The um the Rio Grande Seer. I don't know if you knew him, but he was recording a bunch of these uh, Rio Grande County meetings, and um, I think actually Nofsker had said that he is putting the the videotape the meetings out online too. I think it's a great idea for transparency to, you know, videotape all the county yeah, commissioners that's meeting. A good idea. You bet. And you would uh, you would carry that on, you think that's a good idea. Good deal. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that that really to me is a must. Yeah. That's... I think it's actually not just a must, it's easier. They used to have to handwrite that stuff, right? So just turn the video on and and talk as much as you want. <laughs> yeah. And now the videos are easier, yeah, cuz you can just record them and put them out. Right. And all you gotta do is worry about, I guess, bandwidth and uploading, but just a lot less effort. Um, his, uh, Nofsker, big, uh, his, like, I guess his baby, maybe his pet project, it seems like if he doesn't win, it's like he wants this, the Summitville. Uh, do you know anything about the Summitville property that the uh, county owns? And do you have an opinion well, about yeah. it?
Gotcha. The uh, you're retired now, so you're actually you don't uh, do you do you not help with people's pets anymore, or just uh, if if they put it in front of you, you have to, right? The Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> Yeah. Good deal, man. Uh, any, um, that's all my questions. Are any, uh, I guess priorities, any, um, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, priorities, any policies that we haven't talked about that you would, uh, like the public, uh, the Rio Grande people, the people of Rio Grande to know before I let you go. Uh, no, no. <laughs> now you covered it all. <laughs> Good deal, man, and uh, and you uh, hope to you want to give back, right? You want to uh, give back to the community. Like to contribute to the community, and this is the way I've chosen. Excellent, Tyler Ratzlaff. I appreciate you talking to me, and you you have a good night, my man. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.